Today, Kings Island has announced the removal of their arrow looping coaster, Vortex. Today, I will be giving my thoughts on why this coaster was removed and why I think this is now the end of the arrow looping coasters. So Vortex looked like a really good aero looping coaster. I heard it was very smooth, it was actually pretty intense, and the inversions were really good. I'd never ridden Vortex before, so I really don't know how the ride experience was like. I'm going to Kings Island next year, so I would have been able to experience this, but now since it's being removed, I'll never actually be able to see what it was like. Um... It looked like a good looping coaster, and it was so photogenic looking. I've heard good things about the Sarah Coaster, and bad things about the Sarah Coaster. Vortex has some mixed opinions, it feels like, but it was very surprising hearing they were going to remove this. To be honest, Arrow Loopers seem like they can go forever, like, their um, quality is really good, like, they barely ever break down. So when I heard they were removing this today, I was actually pretty shocked. Now, my big question is, why are they removing this? Is it because Orion's coming in the park? My answer is, I don't think that's why they're removing it. Because many people are saying Orion's going to be super close to this. And I looked at the map of this park, and Vortex is basically nowhere near Orion's spot. So I still don't know why they're removing this, but I've heard a lot of rumors it's because Orion. But another answer is, is King's Island planning on adding another coaster next year or the year after? That'd be a big surprise, but I highly doubt it. If they're going to get a next coaster in this spot, it would have to be a wing coaster, since that's really the only coaster that would probably fit in this spot. So, I mean, it's actually pretty sad. Usually I don't care if an arrow looper gets removed, but since this was going to be a new credit for me next year... Now listen, the reason why I said I don't really care if arrow loopers get removed is because I'm not the biggest fan of arrow loopers, but I'm pretty sad about this one actually, because I was going to be able to get the credit next year, and I was really looking forward to getting this credit since I've heard this is one of the best arrow loopers other than Tennessee Tornado, which I'll bring up Tennessee Tornado later in this video. Um, so this was actually really a shocker to me. I was not expecting Vortex to be removed. So it's pretty odd though that they're removing it, and I'm going to say now, now that Vortex is gone, I think this is going to start the end of Arrow Loopers. I think this will start it. Many, I think after Vortex is removed, I think many other Arrow Coasters will get removed. Um, and I'll explain uh, which ones I do think will get removed. Viper has been rumored to get removed almost every single year since 2015. Many people have been suspecting that they were going to put a B&M dive coaster in this spot. Many people are so surprised that Viper has actually not been removed from Magic Mountain. But I bet a lot of people are now thinking since Vortex removed, this will be removed. Another Arrow Looper coaster I think that will be removed is Anaconda. Here's why. Cedar Fair removed Vortex and I feel like Cedar Fair might be trying to get rid of all their Arrow Loopers. And I think uh, um, Anaconda is definitely probably one of their options they're thinking of. And I would not be surprised if they removed this coaster. Now I think Carolina Cyclone is really the only arrow looper that would stay. And I don't know why. I just think that's the really only one that would stay. But I'm not really sure if that's what would happen. Because I think Cedar Fair is trying to get rid of many of their arrow loopers, which is surprising. Personally, I think Corkscrew should be removed. At Cedar Point, I haven't rented it yet, but after hearing how many bad things about it, um, I think they should aim for Corkscrew next, but it just seems like the era of arrow loopers is starting to go away. And it's kind of sad because those were true classic rides. Sure, they're bad and they're rough, but they're classic rides. So it's like removing one is kind of strange because it's like a piece of history basically tennessee tornado is really the only arrow looper that i think will stay around for a while i think this because this is probably the best arrow looper ever created this thing definitely looks like a b&m and i've heard it's very smooth so i think this arrow looper is definitely going to stick around for a while i've heard very good things about this arrow looper and i think this is definitely one of them that will stay around for a while the removal of vortex is very odd I definitely was not expecting them to remove this ride. It's a very big surprise, and it's also pretty sad, especially hearing how good this arrow looper is. This is probably the second best arrow looper I've heard other than um, Tennessee Tornado, because I've heard a lot of good things about this ride, and I've heard this like the second best. So, I mean, 
I'm not the biggest fan of arrow loopers, to be honest, but I was going to get this credit. I was actually pretty excited to see how this one was like, because my last ride on Anaconda was actually decent. So I wanted to see if Vortex would have a lot of headbanging, even though I've heard that it doesn't really. But I also would be experiencing my first battling in um, element, and now I won't be able to experience that next year. So that kind of sucks, but I mean... Vortex had a good run at King's Island, definitely. It's been running for 33 years, and I it definitely will be, and it definitely will be missed by fans of Vortex. I could definitely say that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Arrow Loopers, as I said before, but I gotta admit to you, since this one looks like one of the best, I think that this is kind of a little bit of a sad removal, to be honest, because I was gonna get this credit. I've heard it's one of the best Arrow Loopers, and I was pretty much looking forward to riding it. Not as much as Orion, Diamondback, Mystic Timbers, or Banshee, though. In front of here and vertigo but i was still pretty excited to ride this ride um and it's a shame that i'm not going to be able to ride it so yeah um keep coasting on my coaster demons and peace out